Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salal Khan here. And finally, with the last signal for me, okay. If you have any other signal which I have not covered you, let me know in the comment section. I am here for you. So, the last for me is the parabolic signal. And let's say I give the heading to be unit parabolic signal. unit parabolic signal parabola you know what a parabola is a quadratic waveform represents a curve a parabola right so the representation is a p of t representation is p of t it's 0 for t less than 0 and it's equal to t squared by 2 for t greater than or equal to 0 now before drawing the waveform where are the markers so before drawing the waveform, what you do is just recall what you have already studied previously about parabolas. So uh, if you have this sort of a parabola, this is your x-axis. This is one sort of a parabola, right? Similarly, this is another sort of a parabola. And this one, these are x-axis, y-axis, those are the function axis. And this sort of a parabola. So these are the two forms of a parabola, right? So if you write the equations for them, so the equation for this is what? It's y squared equal to 4ax. The equation for this one is y squared equal to negative 4ax. The equation for this one is x squared equal to 4ay. The equation for this is x squared equal to negative 4ay. And let me check. It's like this. Fine. So now dealing with parabolas, you have what? You have three things that you need to understand. The first is axis of symmetry. The second is point of focus, right? And point of focus. And the third is the directrix. Now the axis of symmetry is what? That the, the parabola is symmetrical about that axis. Parabola is symmetrical about it for example have a look the parabola is symmetrical in this case about the x-axis similarly over here is symmetrical about the negative x-axis similarly over here so i will write over here x over here negative x over here it's symmetrical about the y-axis over here about the negative y-axis okay so this is the axis of symmetry similarly you have a point of focus so the point of focus is a point on the axis of symmetry. It's a point on axis of symmetry. Say, let's say over here we have this symmetry. This is your focus F, right? I'm coming. Directrix is a straight line. Which is perpendicular to the axis this is your directrix d well this is not straight but this is a straight line so this is perpendicular i would write it perpendicular in shortcut to axis now what is the significance the significance is that these two any point on the parabola is equidistant from them which means that any point lying on the parabola let's say over here i have this point p so this point lying on the parabola is equal uh, is equidistant from these two which means it's equidistant from this focus and this directrix 
and the distance and the distance is a so I would write this over here the distance is a which means this distance the distance between the point on the parabola and the focus is a and the distance between the point and the parabola and the directrix is a I hope you have got it fine now coming to our original case so in our case the y axis y is p of d and the x axis this is simply t right so we have uh, p of t is equal to t squared by 2 right so which means that we have y is equal to x squared by 2 so if I take it over here so this would imply that 2 times p of t would be t squared so I could say 2 times y would be x squared or I can write 4 times 4a times p of t would be t squared similarly I can write 4a is equal to 4ay is equal to x squared where a 4a is equal to 2 which implies a is equal to 1 over 2 so have a look our parabola is this one that we are discussing is this one x squared equal to 4ay with the value of a being 1 over 2 isn't it so it is so which means that I will draw it over here let's say so this is the time axis this is p of t but have a look it is not existing for t less than 0 so this portion I will cut to the left side and only we have to the right side so this is the graph for our signal p of t fine now if you check for uh, what for even or odd p of t is even or is it odd so so you can check it for yourself or not so I will check it okay so p of minus t you need first so p of minus t is like this you flip it around the y axis similarly now you read p of negative p of negative t so you flip this signal now around the x axis so have a look p of t is not equal to p of minus t which means that this is condition for e1 is not satisfied and similarly this is also not equal to negative p of negative t so which means what that the condition for odd is also not satisfied so p of t is neither e1 nor odd signal and now finally uh, for energy or power signal now p of t is energy signal or is it power signal so you can calculate it through the formula the integration the formula you know for negative infinity to infinity I would write it over here negative infinity to infinity the absolute of x of t whole square dt this is I believe the formula I think I have written it correct but if you see from the properties so this is an infinite extension signal with increasing magnitude so I would write it like this that this is an infinite st extension signal with amplitude is increasing so this means that this is a neither energy nor power signal and I have to confirm this problem yes so infinite extension signal with increasing amplitude means that P of T is neither energy nor power signal so that's all about it that's about the unit parabolic signal now I believe I I missed the point in the uh, signum function uh, is that uh, it was one for positive values of time was negative one for negative values of time so which means that signum of function I could write as u of t minus u of minus t you just check it over there and you can prove it for yourself you know this and I also had one other name and I just forgot it so let it go I will write it while editing that video 
so that's all about it that's all about the basic signals if you have any other signal left you can let me know i will cover it inshallah very soon for me that's all about it i will see you in the next lecture with the topic or with the most awaited topic that is systems so till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye